while valuation may not be an exact science. There are a variety of tools that can be used to try to at least approximate a mathematical value. And by combining several methods, it may be possible to eliminate some of the uncertainty and get at least within spitting distance of the right value. Each of these tools has strengths and weaknesses. But, an effective investment banker understands and know when and how to apply each. In our other videos, we covered the three key valuation methods which investment bankers use, which are comparable companies analysis, precedent transaction and discounted cash flows. We noted in our other videos on each of the methods upsides and downsides. So, instead of relying on a single method, investment bankers most of the time produce a football field valuation to create a visual summary of the valuation derived by all the three valuation methods. The goal of the summary is to sanity check various methodologies against one another. Hence, the football field places those alternative valuation approaches side by side to help the advisor in arriving at a reasonable valuation range. Football chart is prepared using a floating bar chart in Excel and summarizes a range of values for a company, which is based on different valuation methodologies and assumptions. The left-hand side vertical axis or the y-axis lists the different valuation methods used by an investment banker to value a company. Here the banker has used three different valuation methods for this purpose. Along with the valuation methods, the valuation multiple assumptions have also been also included. For example, in the trading comparables method, the EV to revenue multiples range from 2.8x to 3.2x. The three method of discounted cash flows estimates weighted average cost of capital or WAC of between 10% to 12%. The x-axis, horizontal axis, features the unit used for measuring value. For public companies, the unit used is the share price. For private companies, the unit used is enterprise value or EV. In this chart here, we are using the enterprise value. You can see from the chart here. Each of the valuation methods produce different high and low ranges in EV valuation. So, a banker will typically draw a red box range which captures the values of the different valuation method. Again, valuation may not be an exact science. This process aims to minimize margin of errors and disadvantages of using only a standalone valuation approach.